This will allow the hands to drop with lag and still hit the golf ball with a square face. Thanks for watching. You're going to love this video because it's all about lag, a very interesting topic in golf that has generated a lot of controversy and has led to a ton of frustration for golfers. But I think we're going to kind of lock in on a few things to simplify this for you and make it something that's helping you rather than hurting. This is Drew Cooper. Hey. An expert on the golf swing and an expert in human body performance and everything from up in Napa. You guys saw that I did a whole series with Drew. We have a playlist with Drew here. And he's visiting his coach, Dan Adalquist, here at uh, El Dorado Park, which is two miles from my house. So Drew, what I wanted to talk about is uh, a lot of people, when they're working on speed or when they're working on consistency, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they see this angle between this arm here, and they're thinking that, like, okay, if I can hold this for a long time and then let it out, snap it out, that's going to be a lot of speed. And then the second thing is that a lot of poor golfers, um, we see they do this kind of casting motion here and then it never cracks at the bottom right the final thing I wanted to, to tell you before we started this is when we look at like the speed data like when I was talking to Dr. Kwan and some other people about hey where does the speed come from it's like an incredibly high number that comes from the wrists so I know that there's something in how the wrists are moving that is like a real huge uh, producer of power so what do you think about like lag and trying to get more lag for speed Okay, well, it depends on, the, so most of my answers are it depends. If you're somebody who maybe has like physical limitations and issues rotating and creating, let's say like rotational speed or using the ground, yeah. you may need to like use your hands quite a bit to speed the club up. Because if you look at guys who are, or women who are very fast, like Wilco, Dustin Johnson, they tend to have an incredible ability to open their hips while their shoulders stay square. So that separation ability uh, the velocity of rotation of their pelvis is all very fast. Uh -huh. Not every 60, 70, 80 year old is going to be able to do that. Okay. And in that case, you, you probably are going to deliver quite a bit of your speed just from your hands. Okay. The models you're talking about, I'd be curious if it's generating speed or if it's where the speed is taking place. I gotcha. So yeah. a lot of times, like if I... Yeah, a big difference there, yeah. Yeah, so if I have a, uh, a screw right here and uh -huh. I start to crank this screw in the middle, mm -hmm. It's not moving that fast. It's creating a ton of force, and the end of this driver is going to move really quick. Okay, gotcha. It's not creating the speed. I'm creating the speed here. Yeah. It's being displayed the fastest mm -hmm. out at the end. Yeah, yeah. So to me, when I look at like a, a model that says the wrists generate the speed, I would say that's where they're, the speed's being displayed. Yeah. Um, the ground force, the pelvis, the thorax, like those big, huge muscles are cranking on yeah. the system to allow the wrist. Okay to get speed out. So the speed would be like if it was a, a car, like a muscle car, this this would all be the engine and, and your feet would maybe be the wheels, uh, but the the transmission would be the wrist. Right, Okay. and that's yeah. what gets it from all this like right. force generating. So if, so if this transition is working improperly, then all this speed and everything is not gonna it's reach for, the for nothing. Thing. Yeah, okay, gotcha. right. Um, and now to your question, when you see people do uh, like when they perform a swing where things get let out. So go like as if you're swinging face on, just swing through our uh, launch deck here. Yeah. And just show me kind of the bad way. So like if I took a swing and you saw me go kind of right from the top, everything starts to get thrown. And there's almost like this like look of like it's gone and then it kind of cruises through the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually a factor of things happening poorly in the swing. And if you didn't throw the club, you wouldn't hit the golf ball. Okay, gotcha. So more often than not, if you could imagine, the most typical move a golfer makes is they spin their shoulders, mm -hmm. the hands go way out in front of the body, and if I kept turning from here holding the lag, I'd miss the golf ball. Yeah. So the, again, the first thing I would do is Your learn, body realizes like- I'm gonna miss. I like, gotta hit the ball, that's the first thing. So they go here and be like, oh, uh -oh. shoot. So they've gotta throw it behind themselves to still stay inside the ball. Yeah, to just, okay. just to hit the ball. Yeah. So um, the first thing I would say is when you did that lag motion, you did a lot of things at the middle okay. that most golfers don't do. Oh, okay. You sure. landed your pressure, you kept your body closed, and then everything kind of okay. was inside the ball. Most people don't do that. Oh, gotcha. Um, so do I think the wrists are important? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do I think they generate speed for most people? No. Okay. But you can lose a lot of speed if, they're, if things happen improperly. Okay, gotcha. So if we're talking about lag and somebody wants to get more lag in their swing, and they have, let's say, like the general classic casting action, you know. Yeah. What, what do you think is, is a good thought or drill or something to, to start, st like, 
being able to uh, be in a position so that they can hold on to it longer. What do you have to do in your body so that this can be held? Yep, a couple of things I would say. Again, none of this is perfect across the board. It's just general advice. Um, stronger grips, stronger club face. Mm -hmm. If the face gets open, you're almost always gonna try and square it by casting. Okay. Um, so stronger grip, stronger club face. If you can get to the top and feel like you get all of your weight, now it's not weight, it's pressure, but yeah. everybody understands weight, to get to your lead foot with the body closed. You mean like by the time you get to the top of your backswing, you already are there? Yep, and, okay. then, and then you feel like it stays closed. And like, again, not how I teach everybody, uh -huh. but this will allow the hands to drop with lag and still hit the golf ball with a square face. So do you like that thing if you go to the top? Where like you feel almost like if I had a pad or something there, you'd be coming into it? For some people, yeah. Yeah, yeah for these people for, that spin, yes, 100%. you go, mm. Yep, 100%. Mm. Okay. Yep. Um, and even then, like for me, like I'm working on trying to keep the arms up as I oh. turn and do my, for some people, right. I'm going to say land, yeah. drop the arms. Because your body and everything, you have the physical ability to, to turn to, to this pelvis be, and with to this side still, bend, oh, yeah, okay. to do right. all sorts of stuff. Okay. Some people with back problems mm -hmm. are going to go, mm -hmm. can't do it. Is there a test to tell whether somebody has the ability to get more? What do you call it? Uh, yeah. Asynchronous? Yeah. There? So uh, uh, X factor or yeah, okay. separation. If I were to take a seat, 90 degree so knees. So put me nips, through the test. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. So if you okay. like, okay. So I don't know if you can sit on that, but if you were to sit sure. on something. Uh -huh. Without hitting my head. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And the goal would be, ideally we'd have something between mm -hmm. your legs that you would pinch. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So that you couldn't move your hips. Mm -hmm. uh, that across your pelvis and you turn and the goal yeah is 45 degrees so shaft over opposite knee and if you can do that you can you can generally um separate okay gotcha gotcha so if you like you'll see yeah. a lot of older people will end up kind of barely moving okay um yeah. hyper mobile girls young kids may get so far that they can do some funky things in their swing gotcha but more often than not if you get a 45 degree you're doing pretty darn good okay gotcha so if you can do that test so, so let's say you can do that test. Yeah. How, how would that be different for the person that can, that can separate and yep. stretch this? Uh, how would they use lag differently? They wouldn't. So now, oh, okay. you're, now you're disconcerned. Like you, lag to you. Now you can leave the hands up and really stretch. And, and okay. good lag may be a 90 degree angle. And oh, anything okay. beyond that will slow you down. Oh, okay. Because now you've got to stop all this good stuff at the body to get the club head out to hit yeah. the ball. Yeah, we've seen some of the guys you mentioned Vilco and people, they're, they're like, like this, and it's a little, just a little downloading, but but it never comes super close. Yeah, 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 you want to keep it it's wide. It's just a little bit, yep. yeah. But they definitely works. aren't like this guy, and then holding, holding, yeah. and then releasing. It's... And then I'm sure you've done stuff on Sergio, who is classically used as that example. Yeah, yeah. But from down the line, he's less here and he's more here. Right. And it just looks yeah, like deceptive. If, if you actually went. Uh, perpendicular to his plane and put the camera up. Uh, it would have to go about 25 feet up or whatever, and you went that. Then you would see actually like so like if the ball was there, it would see it going like that. Right. Not so much. Like yeah. That. Right. Yeah. So Hogan the same thing. because yep. He was so short. But yeah. Or, so so yeah. 2D cameras can be misleading. Okay. Okay. So that's that's the uh, that's the word on lag. The first thing is if you see it, it's not because there's something wrong with your brain and you just can't get yourself to stop throwing it. No, your brain is helping you. And it is saying, I must throw because your body's wrong. Now, is there like, I don't know how much you like this, Drew, as far as like doing drills and things that like are not golf swings, as far as like, is there something that people could do? Like if you pattern certain things without, as not a golf swing, do you think that bleeds into your golf swing? I do, definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm a big fan. I've but seen you with the thick rope and stuff yep. doing certain moves. Yeah. Yep. But I think you've got to like, you've got to help bring it to the golf swing. So like I'll do stuff. Um, which I've stolen from Dana, yeah. where I'll do like an airplane um, and I'm working okay. on my pressure. So I'll start on my left foot, I'll take a step to my right, wind up, and then as I fall, I'm going to try and square my pelvis while my arm stays oh, closed. Okay. See, I was making the airplane all go together. Okay. Right. And so there, that's the separation you leave piece. Leave it back. So, and that, that so the tension, drill is what? Yeah, you're so on it's, your it's left. On my left, and it's a step drill. So my pressure's right. I wind up over the right foot, I land, and the pelvis kind of starts to open when you land how much gets on this side it feels like all of it oh okay, now gotcha. i struggle it's getting hard there to do, yeah. yeah but that's that feeling that's of, of backing yeah. into it mm -hmm. and then letting everything unwind from the ground up and that's where you get that sort of like 
uh, you've done the boat towing a water skier. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And so it starts to speed everything up mm-hmm. from like the middle that doesn't really right. move that fast. And then all of a sudden it mm-hmm. kind of cycles up. Yeah. I've had great success recently with this where I put a, a pool noodle up here, armpit level. Yeah. And then I go only back to there because it, it's stopping me. Yeah. And then for me to generate speed from there, yeah. You got to do so, like John Rahm does it naturally. Yeah, yeah. You got to do so much correct and asynchronous. Right. So that it can have some kind of speed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I would, I would say that same thing. So I've done a drill where I'm basically like right here at P, what is that, five, six? Yeah. Um, and I've got all my pressure here and you start to open your pelvis and you go, okay, like I can hit a golf ball from here. Mm-hmm. I can't hit a golf ball from here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Right, like if you just feel that and you're like, yeah. like you just stand over it and you go, okay, this is my ball. I'm gonna try and lag my hands and you go, no. Like, just think about how am I going to, I'm going to stop it. Let me try that. So put me in this position. All right. So here's here. And like, classically, if we thought lag and you see like Tiger would get his hands to the front leg. Like yeah. The, oh and then God. you're saying, okay, now how are you going to hit that? I'd have to back you, up. Yeah. You, you can't, yeah, no. you'd have to slow down way earlier. Okay. Whereas if you got your weight on your left foot, hip starts to open. So let your arms go back, shoulders closed and feel like here oh, okay but weight heavy on your lead foot okay oh yeah but let the club out more there now from there you feel like i could like open yeah. everything up and hit it so hips open shoulders still closed and, yep. and there yeah it feels yeah. like i could actually hit the golf yeah ball. yeah yeah and it feels like you'd have an appropriate like you wouldn't Delivery. slam into those or right wipe all this stuff out right oh that's good so that's more of like a mental exercise. Okay. I don't think anyone's gonna hit a golf ball that well doing that. Okay, yeah. But you kind of really quickly. So give me see. this drill in in like a, in a little nutshell is basically um, you're doing the airplane drill, but yep. then you're stopping right here. Yep. Hips have re-squared, shoulders are still back, and you're basically cast it almost to the ground. And you feel so you're not don't be even. Be most of your weight here, mm-hmm. and now from there, all you're gonna feel like is you're gonna hit the golf ball. Open the hips, boom, from there. Yeah, you get that little like yeah. rainbow or right. just, uh, Justin Thomas thing. Right. That's cool. Uh, all right, thanks for watching, guys. This video, uh, I wanted to tell you guys about this thing because I really like it a lot. It's called the Launch Deck. We use it in our other video, and I'll be bringing out some other things with it. My friend uses it a lot, and I fell in love with it. So there's a special promo code for it below, and I think you're going to like that. To see more about Drew, go to his Instagram. I think it's the best way to see Drew on there. And uh, you can, if you follow him, you'll see all kinds of really cool content, in depth stuff. And he also has a community, if you're really serious about getting better, that he's seen like amazing improvement for golfers who are uh, involved in that Next Gear Golf community that Drew runs. Thanks for watching. Bye.